<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. I'm Super Dave, and uh, this is the absolute next match right after the last video. I got back online uh, to play another game, and we had this really cool game I thought you guys might be interested in, especially because of some good decisions. Uh, so here we go. Right off the bat in the Constellation, which I think is one of the best ships to use in rank 5. We're going to go through this island, try to get in close, uh, so that we may have a chance to radar the Jaeger. And also, we can angle outwards if he's not there, so we're not completely broadside to the enemy team. You can see he is in fact capturing, so he thought he would be on this side of the base. Uh, turns out he's actually not. Um... Uh, I thought maybe he was going to be coming from the right side of that island that I throw tarps at. Uh, but, turns out he wasn't. But, there is battleships there, and I'm already angled out, so I am fine. And uh, we are going to work on uh, trying to see if we can help the destroyers. If you pay attention, I'm always looking over at the destroyer. We see a torps coming at us. Clearly, that's a Jaeger, because there's 5,000 of the torps. Now, one thing to note, pretty good decision here. If he was not close enough to me to get radar, his torps probably aren't going to hit me, right? Uh, and also, another thing is, don't go broadside against Jaeger torps just to not get hit. You're better off taking a hit from a Jaeger uh, torp than you are going broadside to an entire enemy team that has four battleships that could uh, wail on you. So, Jaeger Torps are not worth dodging and going broadside for. So here, we'd see Jaeger spotted. As I am a dog chasing cars when it comes to destroyers, we're going to take a shot at Jaeger. Now it is at 14 kilometers, so, you know, we're going to get the result that you think we're going to get. One shell. <laughs> and our Summers gets a little aggressive trying to get rid of him and runs right into all them torpedoes. So... You can see right away in the match, we're at a pretty hefty disadvantage. Not having a destroyer is not good. And also, we happen to be down on points. They are in the base capping. I go dark here, and the reason I go dark is either I'm going to, you know, Bismarck comes out, we're going to hit him, or we're going to get in a better position. Because right now, the only thing I can shoot is Lennon, and he's angled to me. So it's worthless to waste all my salvos, be detected. When I could get into a better spot where I could sneak up on Jaeger or get a better angle on these uh, battleships. And you're going to see uh, Iowa does not know I'm here at all. So, And Lennon's pushing in. So we're trying to be careful as our Atlantico does a pretty good job of getting, working on Bismarck here. That is not a fight that Bismarck should have gotten into. Um, but we're going to go ahead and shoot at the Iowa. And the Sevo actually looks pretty solid. Uh, you know, Constellation has got amazing accuracy, obviously. As we do get him for 20,000 damage without a Citadel. So, pretty good. Even without a Citadel, it does pretty solid. So, we're going to take one more shot here. As you can see, the mountain icon isn't there. And now, all of a sudden, it is right when I go to shoot. So, we're not going to get a good Sevo there. But we're going to continue to push up. You can see A is still being capped. So I know, you can see I look, I know that Jaeger is somewhere around here, obviously in the cap. So I'm going to push up. I'm not spotted right now. And I want to try to catch this Jaeger. Uh, I definitely. And um, we clearly know now that the Torps are there that he's probably somewhere behind them three islands that I was looking at to my right there um, in you know, we're down on ships and points and cap. So I got to be aggressive here. And uh, you're going to see that I think my decision making puts us in a good position to have a close match here at the end. We're going to take a shot here at Turpitz. Reason is, is if Atlantico dies before, uh, you know, Turpitz does. We at least get a shot on him to finish him off. Now, Lennon shows up here. You can see he's trapped kind of in between the gap of two islands. So I throw out Torps. Why do I do that? Either he's going to have to drive into the Torps, or you can see on the map he's completely broadside to me. He has no option here. He's either going to eat all them Torps, or he's going to give me a pretty good look at him. 
and he chooses to slow down. Obviously, he doesn't know that the torps are coming, but he does slow down. He still is broadside to me. To me. Obviously, he didn't have a chance to turn his guns towards me, and we get really unlucky with only four of eight shells hitting at four kilometers. But uh, we are not going to leave him alone. We're going to keep chasing him. One thing to note, I'm playing pretty aggressive. I haven't lost all my health. <laughs> you know what I mean? So remember that, guys. You can completely be... This is a ship you can be aggressive with if you're careful. Now, we take some shots here at Lennon. We want to stay on him. And the reason we want to stay on him is because he has to be broadside to either me or my teammate right now. There's no other options. Like, I made good decisions to put ourselves here in Lennon doesn't really have much choice right here. He's either got to angle to uh, our teammate or to me. He's chose the, uh, chose the angle to me up until this point. Now here, again, I put myself in a good position with Torps. He either has to hit this island and I Torp him, or he gives us his broadside. There's only two options. That's all there is. You know, he can't just miraculously make a crazy turn in this ship so we're gonna go ahead as we see it uh, uh, he is almost completely broadside to us we are gonna absolutely destroy him our teammate goes down to Jaeger but we know where Jaeger is now you know I'm looking right where I think he's at I switch to HE quick uh, and I start to make the turn over to him and you can see he gets spotted he's going that direction he's going for the cap now for a second here, I think about actually getting this cap. And you're going to see really quickly, I decide not to. And the reason I decide not to is he's going for that cap. And you see, as soon as I see he was going for that cap, I just, I full thro throttled it. And the reason is I can't get into a points war with a Jaeger. They already have the points lead. They already have the cap advantage. And he's quicker than me. Doing this is just a waste of time. And I think a lot of people will try to get that cap just to get points. Uh, so if you're the uh, top person on your team, you don't lose a star or your progress. And uh, instead of doing that, I want to win the match. Like, I want to go after this destroyer. I don't care about being first loser. Right? If Rocky Bobby told, taught me anything, that's what he taught me. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and we're going to push up. We use these islands to our advantage because we're not 100% sure where he is. We know he's in the B cap and he's probably on this side somewhere. So I'm trying to keep my guns ready over there uh, and uh, just kind of be close in. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm looking at my torp angles uh, and making sure I'm completely reloaded so that if he tries to sneak attack me, it's not good for him. Um, however... It's a Jaeger. I don't think he's going to do that. I'm thinking he's going to try to run away from me once he's got these caps down and just try to torp me at distance. And he probably doesn't think I still have a radar because, you know, we, we've went 10 minutes in this match. A lot of people don't have radars with five minutes left or so. So, again, we're going to use the island to get up here. And we're hoping that Jaeger's still somewhere close to here and hasn't completely ran off. And we're using... Constellation Speed, which is really cool because we've used Constellation Speed to get in better positions. We've used the Torps. Uh, the Torps have been really handy to, you know, get people in position. And now we're spotted. We hit our radar. And I know what people are going to think. Why didn't you wait for him to make a turn? Well, if, if I don't shoot that first shot right away, I don't get a second shot. I don't have the luxury of giving him another chance you know i mean if he just drives straight off i might never get him so i'd rather take the chance at two salvos and you see right here we're getting low road to need to go try not to get behind this island from him but we're gonna go ahead and take another shot he goes dark right as we shoot so this is about his last chance as i could have got and we do in fact kill him so Again, showcasing how good Constellation is as a ring ship. Plus, you're not using up a cruiser slot for radar. And, uh, you you know, you're not sitting a half an hour waiting in a stinking destroyer to try to help your team. That being said, pretty amazing tool set on this ship. Top of the leaderboard really helped our team out. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Have a good one, folks.